Hi knitters, I'm back again. I'm going to show you how I do how I pin the the um, flexible block and wire to make a semicircle edging along the bottom of my shawl. So let's get started. I'm going to show you from a little farther distance um, here. But what I do is I'll take um, my shawl pin and I'm going to pull the shawl as much as I can so I smooth. Smooth, smooth, and I pull, and I have a whole bunch of pins all thrown out here. And then I'm just going to start. I will probably, you know, end up readjusting this, but I like it to be pulled tight. I want it to be, you know, loose and tight and uh, as much as I can. I like to get as much size as I can out of my shawls because I like them to be big and wrappy. You can wrap them right around your neck. So I just scoot along and I am making um, a semicircular shawl, a half shawl, half circle shawl. And you can see my ruffle here as I go. Now I'll try to do a little closer shot so you can see more exactly what I'm doing. So um, these I want the pin to hold hold that flexible wire in place. So again, I'm putting it at a 45 degree angle. See, this is what I end up doing. I go back and I readjust them as I go. But I can see this fabric really opening up. I just use a pin every couple of inches um, to just hold this lace, uh, I'm sorry, I keep saying lace, blocking wire in place. I just move along all along the bottom of the shawl here. So I pull, pull, pull as much as I can. I pull that into shape, the shape that I want. And then uh, I'll, once I get, take it, once I get it all pinned, I usually go back through several times and and pin again, but I smooth, you know, I smooth this fabric down from the top. And I really pull, so you can see all these eyelet holes are really opening up in the fabric. really pull that fabric down. You can see these eyelets are just opening up so nicely. Grabbing my pins around my little tripod here. <laughs> Sorry about that. You know, I really want it to pull, pull, pull down. And I guarantee I'll go back through this several times and try to get as much length as I can out of it and try to make it all nice and even. So I'll keep doing that all the way around, but I wanted to show you. Now, um, this shawl does have a ruffle edge, and so I want that to be nice just kind of freeform roughly. But I loved when Paula um, of the Knitting Pipeline has a a, um, a video on blocking a shawl too, and it's, it's very good. And I loved how she described, she puts the, the um, shawl edge like under her finger, like she's doing a pie crust. And so <laughs> she called it a pie crust. And um, I just, thought that was so appealing and I love it so now every time I do a shawl I think of Paula doing her pie crust. Paula's smart because she does her shawl blocking on a bed so she doesn't have to crawl around like I do on uh, my hands and knees here but I just wanted to see so then I just will kind of do this like a pie crust like Paula said and I will we'll put a fan on it and I'll let it dry. And that's about it. You can see how my pins are holding the, the flexible pins in place. <laughs> All 
All right, so um, thanks for joining me, and I hope that helped. Bye.